at the moment, rhino are in a crisis. This is a species that is incredibly important for this country. Uh, we are still probably the world's most important rhino nation. But what has happened in the last decade, uh, specifically, is that the poaching crisis has come to South Africa at a level never seen before. Uh, and, and at one stage, we were losing more than a thousand rhino a year. At the Global Humane Conservation Fund of Africa, we are on a mission to conserve, rewild and protect Africa's wildlife and wilderness areas. Our team is on the front lines to help save rhinos from extinction. Today, we are pioneering new methods of rhino protection involving AI-enabled technology. We are at Founders Lodge. We've just put on two tracking devices on some of uh, the rhino that live here. This is a significant technological advancement to be able to put this kind of technology on these animals. It helps to keep them so much safer than what we've ever been able to do before. Uh, it learns their behavior and it sends us alarms when they are behaving outside of their normal range uh, of, of habit and behavior. So uh, an important day. So this piece of technology has got a solar panel on it which keeps the battery um, topped up. Uh, what it does is there's a neural engine inside here, a piece of AI that learns through um, the ergonomics of this particular animal, what it normally does through a 24 hour period. And over time, it learns more and more about its behavior. If this collar starts to move faster than normal, if it changes direction quicker than normal, if it lies too still uh, than it normally does, it then sends the ground team an immediate alarm as well as a GPS location of where he is so that they can get to that location and ensure he's okay. Across the African continent, we are spearheading various rhino conservation initiatives, from increasing rhino rangelands, to partnering with local communities, to pioneering new technologies and approaches, to ensuring that we have a future that includes rhinos. In the past, we've spent so much time wasted looking for them and not knowing where they are, not knowing if they are safe. Uh, it means that the, the limited resources, which are very expensive to maintain, are so much better applied out here in the field because the tech is doing a lot of the hard yards for the anti-poaching team on the ground here. So it gives them a significant advantage knowing that even if they're hiding away in the bush, uh, there's something on them that's keeping watch over them so that they can spread their resources out strategically and be ready to respond when that time comes. So thank you Global Humane Conservation Fund of Africa for getting behind us and making this possible.